Hello, VC. Hello, good people. It's your blues guy coming back at you. And uh, right out of the gates, I want to thank everybody very much for all of their tremendous support. I, it's unbelievable. I've uploaded two videos. I've been around for uh, a week, 10 days, something like that. And already I've been getting a lot of fantastic support and a lot of kind words and positive feedback. So thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's great. I really appreciate that. And um, second of all, got a few items that came in the mail today. So I thought I'd do a quick little unboxing of some stuff and, and uh, share it with all of you. So here we go. And unfortunately, they're too small, unfortunately, Steve Carlson. They're much too small to be your uh, R.L. Burnside album. Sorry, bro. But uh, fingers crossed. You never know. Fifth time is a charm. Uh, anyway. Anyway, let's have a look and see what's in here, shall we? Trusty uh, granddaddy's knife here. Granddaddy's buck knife. Uh, cut into this thing very carefully. Don't want to cut off my digits. Let's see what we, what's what here. This one is from uh, Pueblo, Colorado. I don't even remember what these are. I just know they're um, from eBay. Let's see what I've got here. All oh, right, yes, 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 yes. A couple of 45 RPMs. Ray Charles. Found my baby and guitar blues. Seems guitar blues. It seems odd that Ray Charles is doing a song called Guitar Blues. And he's a blues pianist, pianist, piano player. And this other one is from... Oh, it's from just my... Right here in my neck of the woods. Well, not really. On the other... Across the country, but over in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Up here in Canada, eh? And this one... I can't remember what this one was either. Let's see here. Wow, this guy, uh, this guy didn't play when he wrapped this thing. Very secure. Gonna get some positive feedback for this fella. All right, let's see what we've got here. This one from Halifax is, oh yes, that's right, I recall now. This is a, um, on Jewel Records, a 45 once again, 45 RPM. This is uh, Make a Little Love and Catfish Blues. And, um, I don't know if you could see that. It says Elmo James. In there. Elmo. Not Elmore James. From Dust My Broom fame and Skies Crying and all of that. The great uh, Mississippi bluesman that made his way up to Chicago. and uh, Not Elmore James. Elmo James. And this was um, actually uh, recordings made by Arthur Big Boy Crudup who originally recorded That's All Right Mama that Elvis later covered. Um, Arthur Big Boy Crudup was under contract with a different record label. So in order to record these two gems on Jewel, get it, Jewel, gems? Anyway, in order to do that, he had to go by a pseudonym, which was not unusual, uh, especially through the 40s, 50s, and uh, into the early 60s. Um... Johnny Hooker was known to do that. He recorded under the Boogeyman and John Lee Booker and uh, like three or four other names so that he could record in different studios simultaneously. And he didn't care if he signed a contract. John Lee Booker, eh, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. Fantastic. In fact, I think one of these is actually uh, Arthur Big Boy Crudup uh, 
And the other one I think might be Bobo Jenkins, uh, because a lot of times uh, if an artist uh, was in high demand but he only had one new song, they preferred that he had two songs walking in the studio, you know, so you could record both sides of a record, whether it was a 78 back in the day or a 45. But if you were in high demand, like Arthur Big Boy Crudup was, uh, very often you could come in with only one song and they would bring in another artist, uh, either from their roster or, you know, a buddy of yours or something, maybe your lead guitarist or whatever, to record for the B-side. So I think one side of this is Arthur Big Boy Crudup, as Elmo James, and the other one is Bobo Jenkins as Elmo James, which is also highly unusual because Bobo Jenkins isn't from Mississippi like Elmo James or Arthur Big Boy Crudup, as a matter of fact. Or Crudup might have been from Tennessee. But anyway, uh, Bobo Jenkins is actually from Alabama, and he didn't go up to Chicago. He went to Detroit, and he kind of played around in a lot of the same clubs as Eddie Kirkland and uh, John Lee Hooker. So that's going to be interesting. So I'm going to clean these up and uh, give them a listen and see how they work. So that's going to do it for today here, you Blues Guy Vinyl. So thank you very much. Once again, I really appreciate all the support. I hope everyone has a, a great day out there, and we'll see you again soon. And until then, keep digging and keep spinning them. See ya. Take care. Bye-bye.